This video shows how to set up a VoiceThread link from your Blackboard class. So to set up a VoiceThread link from Blackboard, there are actually two steps. First, you have to add a VoiceThread link to your course. Then you have to click it the first time as the instructor, and then you set up your VoiceThread link. So to do this, I'm going to turn Edit Mode on, and I'm going to put the link in this folder. Alright, so with edit mode on, under the build content menu, you will see, if you scroll down, the option voice thread link. So edit mode on, build content, voice thread link. And then you just fill out the form, just like most other Blackboard items. Give it a name. I'll just name it voice thread link. If you like, you give it a description using the normal text editor in Blackboard. If you want to attach files, you can do that as well. And if you wanted to set up the link but hide it from your students manually, you could just permit users to view this content, set that to no. Or you could also set date and time, turn on, turn off at a particular date and time, like you can with most other Blackboard things. So I'll make it appear now and hit submit. And there you go the VoiceThread link is in your class. And you can tell a VoiceThread link from other links because they have that VoiceThread logo, big black circle with VT, before the link. So that was step one. The VoiceThread link is in our class. Step two, we have to tell that link what to do. So as the instructor, you click it once, the very first time. You don't have to do this step ever again. That will launch VoiceThread. You know, we have to wait for VoiceThread to load. Eventually the screen will go black and we'll see the little spinny circle. And then eventually you will be presented with these three buttons. I always choose this one individual voice thread uh, that tells the link, hey link, go to this one particular voice thread. So after you choose individual, you go on and you pick the single voice thread you want the link to direct students to. The other options are course view, if you choose this option, that will direct students to all a page that shows all of the voice threads available to that particular course. So if voice thread permissions are done by the Blackboard course roster. If you select course view, every voice thread you've enabled in that class will be displayed as the destination. The third option is voice thread home. If you choose this, students will be taken to the VoiceThread homepage where they will see where they will see every VoiceThread they have access to. The VoiceThreads from your class and from every other class that's using VoiceThread. So VoiceThread Home takes the students to the VoiceThread homepage where they see everything they have access to in VoiceThread. Course View takes them to all of the VoiceThreads you have enabled in your course. Individual points them to one particular voice thread. So I always choose one, this one, because I like my to use individual links that point to an individual voice thread. And then you can do, you can add them to an existing voice thread, you can make a brand new copy of an existing voice thread, or you can create a new voice thread from scratch by uploading media, and I will show those things in a different video. This video showed how to set up the the link from Blackboard. So again, step one, put the link there. And step two, tell it what to do. Either point to an individual, the collection of all the classes, voice threads, or the voice thread homepage.